Action Force Valaverse Series 5 Senji. When this character was first introduced to us in concept form, um, I already had a kit bash in mind. And especially when we already had a final render in toy form with all the colors and all of the accessories, I immediately had an idea of two action figure builds from this one character. Because somehow, this is a Valaverse character that to me personally, um, it's just like oil and water. The concept for the character just wouldn't mix. It has to be really two separate action figures. So from our basic Senshi, I was able to build my updated version of Budo. And from the remaining parts of this action figure, so this is going to be the other action figure that I had in mind. So Security Contractor Senshi. Okay, so let's discuss this build. So before we discuss parts and the build, let us first do a quick 360 view of the action figure. For those of you guys who haven't seen the shorts version of this. Okay, to reveal. So this is really Senshi. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so that's the proof. There's me boy. Okay, so this accessory that is from Greed Iron Studios. Okay, so basic build. The gear set that is which I also reviewed in this channel the recon gear pack basically recon gear pack okay with some add-ons and a major overhaul or modification on the battle belt okay so let's take a look at the basic battle belt of recon gear pack as you could see the sidearm is on the left side this is vacant so let's examine the battle belt of senshi this new one okay so on this side we have magazine caddies and on this side we have a pistol and its suppressor so this area now is filled by that and this so with an exacto knife no easy way to this but to really literally carve it out so we have still enough plastic to really work on to take it off without cutting through these portions of the belt so what I did was to really take my time to carve it out and still have remaining belt material where the Senshi magazine caddies could latch on. Okay, so that used to be a suppressor caddy. So I converted it into a magazine caddy. Okay, so just apply a little bit of heat and an Action Force Valaverse magazine caddy could fit right in easy. So that's it. Um, actually, you with this, you still have a little bit of modifications on the holster, on the back of the holster to make or have a perfect fit so you also have to judge the distance um, with how you're going to glue this holster onto the 
um, belt because of this thing because if you ride it too high then it's going to hit the holster and you're going to impede the articulation point of the action figure right now it has enough articulation point that i could still bring the action figure close to the center line of the right side and on the left side that's the reason why i also don't have a magazine on this section because if i placed another mag in this caddy it's going to hit this section of the kit or the chest rig so i play i just decided to take it off so it's just going to be a two magazine system for the battle belt okay so attachments to the chest rig so one and two okay that is from operation monster force so the re the remaining caddy the front caddy actually operation monster force will give you two caddy options so the other caddy option i cut it into pieces so i could make use of the pieces for the magazine for the pistol so this now sports three magazines one two three and we have a flashlight so of course depends on the um, way that you cut um, so I wanted to have these two on this section but the flashlight would always hit the arm section of the action figure so yeah impeding articulation points once again so i just chose to place this on this part of the chest rig and have the one with the flashlight uh, molded flashlight on the left side so as you could see that's free to articulate if this was on this side it's going to hit the side of the right arm so making rifle action figure poses very impossible because of this bulk so that's it when you do action figure kit bashes so you have to work around your <laughs> materials so even if we have a general idea of how to place items especially um, i'm also into the shooting sports so i have a chest rig and a battle belt setup so i would want personally how to set it up according to what i use but that's the limitation in plastic form and with cutting off materials and just gluing them so that's it you have to work around <laughs> the materials okay so at least we have three magazines on the chest rig okay and we have a pistol on this side right side of course i'm i'm a right-handed shooter so this just doesn't work for me having the secondary firearm on my left side okay so this is from all is best eric killmonger okay so with whatever was remaining of the um caddy from monster force so the tourniquet and scissors or the first aid option i placed it on the thigh mounted accessory of eric killmonger so adding two additional mags for the main battle rifle Evan scar okay so finally we 
number of magazines that we have on board 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so basically a minimum loadout for um, as maximum loadout of possibly 8 but depends on you personally if you could bear the weight you could carry as much as you want but that's it um, the more that you have on your person the more weight is going to bear you down and it's going to somehow impede your mobility of course you have more things attached to your body so um, the most convenient uh, number is eight but sometimes others would carry more uh, possibly I know somebody who carries more <laughs> magazines that I do okay <laughs> so um, you just have to work with these materials especially with these tight spaces and what did I do to the chest ring okay so instead of it being a removable piece anyway this is going to be its final form so I just decided to glue this to that port one and two and waited it to dry before taking the action figure apart so taking the arms apart heating this with a hair dryer so it's going to soften up and placing uh, placing it on top of the action figure so easy way to remedy the situation of having this detaching in the future anyway this is how i want the kit to be set up for this character and with the accessories that he has on the rifle pistol magazines and everything so very simple action figure build and i really like the um uh, uniform of this guy compared to the recon uh, recon guy series 5 which is just way too dark um it's green for the combat shirt and black for the sleeves and the pants so um, Mm, yeah not my not my um, not my cup of tea that's why I didn't order it I prefer this color because it's lighter tone and especially with the um, accessories that you put on of course a little bit of contrast so details would pop out if it's all black sometimes um, it's nice to have an all black action figure but majority of the time, um, you would also want to see the details, not having to put the action figure in very bright light just to enjoy it. <laughs> but with a action figure um, like this, you have varied colors, which is very well balanced, then you're really going, going to appreciate it, especially if you play with it. So I already um, judged that um, the articulation points that I need for the waistline, the bends that I need for the, uh, the body. So that's the amount that I just need or want. Sideways motion, that's the amount of articulation I need. And that's it, we're good to go. Um, I would have wanted the tourniquet set this to be on a dangler position but somehow if I put another accessory on this section it's going to impede articulation point so I just decided to make use of this tie accessory from Eric Killmonger so I would be able to increase the number count of magazines that this guy is carrying plus I could attach that piece 
to add to its cool effects. So of course, it's a toy. We want it to, as much as possible, not only be functional and um, playable, but at the same time, it looks really good. Oops, and I forgot to mention which um, toy line the main weapon comes from. That is not Action Force Valverse. That is Operation Monster Force. So from my, my Delta Red action figure. So it sports a Action Force Valaverse magazine and an Action Force Valaverse suppressor from Senshi. Okay, so I just cut off the <laughs> the barrel from my Action for ah uh, from my um, Delta Red, so I could make use of the suppressor. So course to beautify the action figure and at the same time be functional so once again if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review